Have you ever found yourself caught in a whirlwind of worries so intense that every breath feels like a struggle, every thought a lost battle against the turbulent sea of anxiety? In those moments, peace seems like a distant concept, almost an urban legend amidst the chaos of everyday life. Yet amidst this emotional storm, there is an anchor, a promise of peace that transcends all human understanding, a peace so deep and encompassing that it has the power to calm the most violent internal storms. But faced with the towering waves of ceaseless worries, how can we cling to this peace? How can we find serenity when each wave seems larger than the last, threatening to engulf any remnants of tranquility? At this very moment, perhaps you wonder if this peace is truly accessible or if it's merely a beautiful theoretical idea, distant from everyday reality. It's easy to get lost in skepticism when the waves of anxiety crash against the walls of our hearts with relentless force. However, it is precisely here at this giant question mark that we are invited to rediscover an ancient truth, a secret hidden in plain sight. There is a peace available that not only promises, but delivers calmness to the restless soul, a safe refuge from the storms that assail our minds and hearts. But how can we, in our daily struggles and fears, experience this peace that seems so elusive. We live in times seemingly designed to cultivate anxiety, where every notification, every headline, every new day brings a new source of concern. Anxiety intertwines so intimately in the fabric of our daily lives that we begin to accept it as a constant companion, a specter casting long shadows over every moment of joy or peace and yet the scriptures, with their timeless wisdom, speak directly to the heart of our fast-paced modern world. They offer us a divine solution that remains unchanged through the millennia, an invitation to cast aside the chains of worry and embrace a peace that is beyond our understanding. But how can we access this promised peace amidst the incessant noise and demands of contemporary life? The words written millennia ago resonate with surprising relevance today, reminding us that despite the evolution of society and the new challenges we face, human essence and its quest for inner peace remain constant. The divine solution to anxiety is not an outdated concept, but an eternal truth, equally powerful today as it was when it was written. The scriptures invite us to look beyond the visible, to trust in a higher power than our worries, a power that promises peace in the midst of the storm. But are we ready to accept this invitation, to place our trust in something beyond earthly solutions and find the true serenity that transcends all understanding? In the pages of Philippians 4, 6, 7, we find a divine invitation that challenges us to rethink our relationship with the concerns of life. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. These words are not just a comfort in moments of restlessness. They are a call to action, a reminder that we have at our disposal a powerful tool against anxiety, prayer. But how can we turn our worries into prayers? How can we, in the midst of chaos, find the serenity to turn to God with gratitude, trusting that He hears us? The peace promised in this verse is not worldly peace, limited by the circumstances surrounding us, but a peace that transcends all understanding, capable of guarding our hearts and minds, even when everything around us seems to crumble. And this promise extends in 1 Peter 5, 7, where we are encouraged to cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. It is a declaration that we do not carry our burdens alone, that there is someone greater who deeply cares for us, eager to relieve us of the burdens that weigh us down. But often we find ourselves clinging to our anxieties, reluctant to let them go, as if somehow our worried control could alter the outcome. How then can we learn to truly trust, to release the reins of our worries, and believe that God cares for us with such great love that invites us to rest in His divine protection? David, in his journey of highs and lows, shows us a way through his words in Psalm 56. 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. 
It is not the absence of fear that defines faith, but the decision to trust in God despite fear. David's vulnerability, expressed in his Psalms, is not a weakness but a powerful demonstration of faith. He does not hide his fears, but presents them to God, turning his anxiety into worship. But how can we adopt this same posture in our lives? How can we learn to channel our anxieties through trust in God, turning our fears into hymns of faith that declare that, no matter how great the storm, our refuge and strength lie in God? The relationship proposed by the Bible with God is one of complete surrender and trust. Entrusting our anxieties to God goes beyond a mere act of giving up. It is an act of active faith, a recognition that, although we have no control over many aspects of life, we place our trust in the one who controls the wind and waves. But living out this truth in everyday life is a constant challenge. How can we practice this surrender and trust? How can we reinforce in our hearts the certainty that, by entrusting our worries to God, we are placing our lives in the hands of someone who indeed has the power to calm storms, not just around us, but within us. This journey of faith, of casting our anxieties upon God, leads us to a deep, personal transformation. It's not just about a change in behavior, but a change of heart, where we begin to see our struggles in a new light. Active faith teaches us that even in the most turbulent circumstances, there is a greater force working in our favor. Trust in God doesn't eliminate life's storms, but it offers us a safe haven, a peace that truly transcends all understanding. As we turn to God in trust, we discover that even when the world around us seems to crumble, there is a constancy in His presence, an invitation to rest securely in the promise that He is in control. These principles of faith, vulnerability, surrender, and trust form the foundation upon which we can build a life marked not by anxiety, but by peace. They remind us that despite our worries and fears, there is a hope to which we can hold firmly, a hope that assures us that no matter the size of the storm, we are not alone. Our refuge, our strength, and our peace reside in a God who invites us to cast all our anxiety upon Him, promising to care for us with a love that never fails. The practice of prayer, meditation on Scripture, and active participation in a faith community are pillars that help us find our center in God, especially in times of anxiety. These spiritual practices serve as a constant reminder that our foundation is not in life's fluctuating circumstances, but in the solidity and constancy of divine love. By dedicating time to prayer, we open ourselves to genuine communication with God, pouring out before Him our deepest concerns. Meditation on Scripture, in turn, nourishes us with eternal truths that have the power to renew our minds and strengthen our spirits. And when we join with other believers, we discover a source of support and mutual understanding that is vital to our faith journey. But how can we make these practices an integral part of our lives, especially when anxiety seems to occupy all our mental space? Furthermore, these spiritual practices connect us to a larger community, to a body of believers who share similar struggles, but also hopes and victories. This connection reminds us that we are not isolated in our human experience. There are others walking with us, offering support, sharing wisdom, and experiencing the same faith. This sense of community is essential as it offers us perspective, encourages us, and reminds us that hope is real and tangible. In moments of anxiety, knowing that we have a supportive community can be the factor that keeps us standing firm in faith and trust that we do not face our battles alone. How then can we open ourselves more to this community? allowing shared faith to strengthen our trust in God and dissipate the fog of anxiety. Reflecting on the areas of our lives that cause us the greatest anxiety is a crucial step in facing it. Whether concerns about finances, relationships, or health, each of these areas offers a unique opportunity for us to practice surrender and trust in God. By bringing these concerns in prayer, we are doing more than seeking relief. 
we are exercising our faith in the certainty that God is in control and that His peace, which surpasses all understanding, can guard our hearts and minds. But how can we, in practice, entrust these anxieties to God? How can we cultivate a trust that truly allows us to let go of the reins of our worries and rest in divine protection? In addition to the individual practice of entrusting our anxieties to God, the role of community support in our spiritual journey is immeasurable. Sharing our struggles and victories within a faith community not only strengthens us individually, but also enriches the faith of those around us. This sharing creates a virtuous cycle of encouragement and hope, reminding each of us that our battles are shared and that victory through faith is possible. But in a world that often values independence above all, how can we open ourselves to seek and offer support within our faith community? How can we overcome the isolation that anxiety often imposes, recognizing that together our faith becomes stronger and our ability to face anxiety expands? Seeking community support is essential, not only for the strengthening of our faith, but also for our emotional and spiritual well-being. Within a faith community, we are constantly reminded that we are not alone in our struggles. There is a shared strength that emerges when we come together in prayer, support, and mutual encouragement. This collective strength gives us courage to face life's storms with renewed confidence, knowing that victory over anxiety is not only possible, but promised to us through our faith and trust in God. How then? can we become more active in our faith community, not only seeking support, but also being a source of encouragement to others, thus strengthening our shared journey toward peace that transcends all understanding. Anxiety, with its numerous facets and shadows, can often feel like a constant companion on our human journey. But it is crucial to remember that we have not been called to walk this road alone. God extends His mighty and gentle hand at every step of the way, offering us not only His incomparable peace, but also His constant presence and faithful promises as a safe refuge. This divine promise is a beacon of hope amidst the turbulent storms of life, assuring us that, no matter how high the waves of anxiety may rise, there is always a safe harbor to which we can turn. But how can we practice this trust daily especially when the waves seem to overwhelm us. In this acknowledgement of the divine offering, we find not only the key to lasting peace, but also an invitation to a more intimate and trusting relationship with God. He calls us to cast all our anxieties and worries, trusting that He will take care of every aspect of our lives with immeasurable love and attention. This surrender is not an act of giving up, but an act of deep and transformative faith, which allows us to open our hearts to the peace that surpasses all understanding. As we move forward, carrying our concerns and struggles, we are invited to place our trust in God's promises, allowing this daily trust to cultivate a deeper and more serene relationship with our Creator. But amidst daily challenges, how can we keep our hearts open to receive this peace allowing it to shape our lives and strengthen us against the storms of anxiety. As we continue on our journey, carrying the weight of our concerns and facing battles against anxiety, it is essential to remember to lift our eyes to God's unwavering promises. Each step taken in trust of these promises opens our hearts to a deep and transformative peace, which not only keeps us safe amidst storms, but also leads us to a closer and more enriching relationship with the Creator. This trust is not a mere wish, but an active choice, a daily commitment to lay our anxieties at the Lord's feet and allow His peace, which transcends all understanding, to permeate our hearts and minds. By embracing this daily dependence on God, we open ourselves to experience a profound transformation in our lives. This transformation not only relieves us from the grip of anxiety, but also draws us nearer to God's heart, where we find true rest and security. As we trust in God's promises and surrender our anxieties to Him, we are enveloped by a peace that strengthens us, renews us, and assures us of His loving care in every aspect of our lives. 
May this journey of trust and surrender not only be a path we walk alone, but also a testimony to God's faithfulness, lovingly guiding us through every storm to the serenity that awaits us beyond. Now, I invite you to join me in a special moment of prayer. Together, let us bring our concerns, our struggles, and our anxiety before God, trusting in His promise of peace that surpasses all understanding. And if this prayer moment touches your heart, I invite you to subscribe to the channel so that we can continue this journey together, strengthening our faith and encouraging one another. Leave your like as a sign that you are with us, united in prayer and faith. Additionally, I encourage you to leave a comment below. Share how this prayer has impacted you, or tell us about your own experiences of trust and surrender in God. Your testimonies are powerful and can serve as great encouragement to others who are watching. And if you feel that this message may bless someone you know, please share this video. We never know how much a simple action can impact someone else's life, spreading hope and faith. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in this moment, bringing our concerns, our anxieties, and the weight of our struggles. We acknowledge that on our own, we are unable to find the peace our souls long for. But in you, we find a refuge, a strength that enables us to face each day. We ask, Lord, that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Help us to surrender each concern to you, fully trusting in your faithfulness and care. Lord, teach us to silence the voices of anxiety and fear that often seek to dominate our thoughts. In the quietness of prayer and in the meditation of your word, renew our minds and strengthen our spirits. May we find, in communion with you and in the fellowship of faith, the support and hope we need to continue our journey. Give us the courage to share our struggles, knowing that in doing so, we not only strengthen our own faith, but also encourage those who walk with us. We pray, Father, for those who feel overwhelmed by anxiety at this moment. Touch their hearts with your comforting presence, reminding them that they are not alone, May your promise of divine care and protection be an anchor for their souls, a constant reminder that in you, they find safety and peace. Help us to recognize your hand in every aspect of our lives, seeing each challenge as an opportunity to draw closer to you. Strengthen in us, Lord, the importance of the faith community, where we can find strength and encouragement. May our journey be marked by love and mutual support, reflecting your light in a world that so desperately needs hope. May every word of encouragement and every act of kindness be seeds of faith planted in needy hearts, growing and blossoming into a beautiful expression of your presence among us. We conclude this prayer with grateful hearts for the certainty of your constant presence in our lives. May the peace that comes from you completely envelop us, guiding us to an ever-increasing trust in your sovereignty and love. In Jesus' name, amen.